One of the most important things in Dragon Dogma 2 are the pawns, but I feel like one thing that no one is really talking about or just stating how important it is, is the pawn's inclination. And I think once you understand how these pawn inclinations help and how they're going to benefit you, it's going to be better understood how important these are to your success on staying alive or actually dying. Also, another super important thing is knowing which character to give what type of inclination because some are going to be better for one inclination than another and do remember from my previous video that i did yesterday on the deluxe edition you're actually able to change this so even though your pawn does not have it you're actually able to you know change the inclination but knowing which inclination to give to who is going to be extremely important that's why we're going to talk about that today in today's video we're going to go over the inclinations i'm going to tell you which pawns are the ones that should have the inclinations and why so if you are excited for dragon dogma 2 Hit that like button and let's get this video to 100 likes. Let's make it happen. All right, guys. So here's what we have as far as the inclinations. For those of you who are new to the game, inclinations are pretty much a it's kind of an, an effect that you're able to apply to your pawn that's going to allow them to do and act and interact in the world in a certain way. So the first one we have is called kind hearted. This means that your pawn is going to be compassionate devoted and dutiful now most obedient that's extremely important because that means whenever you give him a command he will obey that command and it says here quick to aid in need so that is what the kind hearted does it's going to be a compassionate so if he sees you that you're injured if he sees you that you got shot if he sees you laying on the floor he's going to run over there and try to heal you but most importantly he's going to be extremely obedient so for example you tell him go attack that enemy come back and pick me up he will listen to you, okay? So it's going to be extremely important that you keep that in mind. The next one we have is called Calm. Now, this is going to be someone that's rational, shrewd, and, and pretty much strategizes and employs clever tactics to survive at all costs. So this is another one that you extremely need to pay attention to because the way this is worded is telling you one particular thing. Number one, he's going to be super smart. He's going to be super clever, but his main objective is to su survive at all costs. So that means if you go down, He's going to try to survive, okay? So it's going to be really important that you remember this, all right? Next, we got simple, which is going to be he the person's curious, earnest, and adventurous. Enjoys explorer, exploring and gathering items. So this one's another really interesting one because if you have a bunch of pawns with the simple trait, they're just going to be all over the map, man. They're going to go over here. They're going to find a chest over there. They're going to go loot over there. And you're going to be like, yo, where's everybody at, bro? I'm fighting this big ogre, but where's my pawns at? He's, he's just you know he's just pretty much exploring the world and then we have the last one which is called straightforward which means that he is candid flippant and impulsive okay enjoys the thrill of combat tackling fierce foes head on with daring assault so that is the ones we have and like i said you're able to apply this to your pawns now if you guys remember the pawn system the way it works is you're able to do one pawn for yourself and you're going to be able to customize them the way you want. In addition to that, when you find pawns in the world, you're going to want to make sure to know what inclination they have to see if it's worth you picking them up depending on your playstyle. So let's start off with the first one and who I personally feel fits perfectly with the first one called Kind Hearted. So Kind Hearted, I think the mage is going to be perfect for this. The reason being is because the mage has the healies. He's going to be able to heal you. And out of all the classes, this is the one you want to apply on him because that's going to have him prioritize the health. So if you're in a battle, if you have the fighter, if you have the thief and you're, you know, you're doing your thing and the mage sees that you're in trouble, he's going to be like, I am going to go over there and heal that person without, you, without being told. So I think kind hearted is going to be perfect for the mage. Next, we have calm and calm is going to be extremely important, I believe, for the thief and also for the trickster. I think the, the whoever has calm on the trickster or the thief is going to be extremely important because remember the trickster is going to be able to employ clever tactics pretty much using his smoke ability and allowing to do a lot of you know cool stuff with the smoke like disappearing, casting enemies and he's going to be prioritizing surviving so that means he's not going to be super close. I also think another one that fits perfectly here for the calm option is also the archer because the archer is going to be able to keep his distance, employ clever tactics, so you know make sure he shoots from the right locations, and he's going to survive at all costs. So if he sees an enemy rushing him, he's able to move and position to another area. 
Then we have Simple. Now, this is going to be pretty much, I believe, the Trickster and the, the Thief, I think, are going to fare really well here. But mostly the Thief, because this is going to be primarily on someone that enjoys gathering items. And who else to put here than someone that is going to be stealing stuff from other pawns, okay? <laughs> who else, right? In addition to that, guys, remember, there are a lot of secret chests, a lot of secret areas, a lot of secret dungeons found in the game. So what better than having someone who say, hey, wait, there's a cave over there. Oh, wait, there's a chest over there. Or, you know, someone sneaking up to grab someone's loot from them if they are, a, you know, another pawn. So I think for simple, I personally think the thief is the one that's going to be heavily suited for this particular uh, option here. And that's the one I would go with. Then we have straightforward. And this one's going to be someone that's going to be up in your face. Regardless of what happens, I'm going to take the blunt. I'm going to take the bull force and we're, we're going to go with it. We're just going to rush. I think the fighter and the, the spear hand is definitely the one that you want to have here. I think that is going to be the one you want to do because if you have straightforward on the pawn, he is going to prioritize damaging and doing as much damage as he possibly can regardless of who gets on their way. Okay. I also think that the thief and the trickster would fit really well here. Due to the fact that they are going to rush the battlefield. Mostly the Thief. I think the Thief would work really perfect here. And the Fighter. But I think the Fighter is the one that's going to be mostly well suited for this particular you know, a inclination. I think once you put Straightforward on a Fighter. And then you have a Mage running Kindle Heart. And then you have a Thief running Calm. I think that is going to be the perfect combo to getting the best out of the best. If you know... If for some reason you see your fighter has a straightforward and he needs a healies, you tell a mage, yo, mage, heal him, right? And then if you have the thief running around trying to find stuff, it's going to be very helpful for finding loot, finding coins, and finding items that you're going to need to progress throughout the game. I think these inclinations are extremely important in understanding what inclination fits which pawn better. It's going to be extremely important to not only starting off the game correctly, but also knowing who to recruit when you get further in the game. Now, I want to know if you guys agree or disagree with me on the inclinations I get, I gave each and every one, or do you feel some of them are better suited for other characters? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, guys, remember, we are getting closer and closer to the release of the game. So the faster you guys subscribe, turn those notifications, the faster you're going to learn where to get the best stuff in the game because we have a ton of videos ready lined up for you guys to check out when the game comes out. Speaking of videos lined up for you guys to check out, I highly recommend you guys check out if it's worth you picking up Deluxe Delition. I highly recommend you guys checking to see what class is going to fit your playstyle depending on what class you want to pick. So check those videos that are popping up right now on the screen so you guys don't miss out. And like I said, once the game releases, we're going to have you guys completely covered. So get ready, guys, for some Dragon and Dogma 2 coverage. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.